My name is Jonathan Chu, and I'm a product manager for ROG Motherboards. Today I'm here to show you the new Z170 line of motherboards. With the Extreme, we can have a quick overview of all the main features and all the new connectivity options that are available with this new chipset. Uh, on board, you'll see right away, uh, all motherboards will support the M.2 specification from 2242 to 22110 in PCI Gen 3 by 4 mode and also SATA mode. Additionally, you'll see only on the Extreme this time, the U.2 onboard um, connective, which also operates in PCI Gen 3 by 4 mode. Additionally, you'll see that the PCI lane uh, configuration is uh, 4 by 16 slots uh, in a maximum of 5, 8, 5, 4, by 4, by 4 mode. Aside from this, you'll also notice that on the back, we have four USB 3.1 ports for the Extreme, uh, three Type A's and one Type C port. The Type A and Type C will be available on all motherboards. Uh, the Extreme, since it has four extra ports, the two Type A will actually be controlled by an AS Media controller, whereas these two will be controlled by an Alpine Ridge connector. So the Type C will offer Thunderbolt uh, compatibility and uh, power delivery version 2.0, as well as uh, DP Link. If we take a look at the Ranger board, uh, just to show you the new audio solution, because the Hero and the Extreme both feature the I.O. cover. If we take a closer look at the, um, the Supreme FX audio section, you'll see actually there are four critical components this time around. You have the ESS DAC, you have the uh, oscillator, and a amplifier, as well as the depop relay. Now, these four components are all for the uh, front panel audio connection, because you know, lately eSports has grown into quite an industry. We're finding a lot of users like to use headsets when they're gaming and when they're live streaming. And so we've purposefully added these components to kind of improve the output of the headphone. So if we move back to the extreme to take a look at the overclocking capabilities of uh, this generation, uh, we will feature a two PWM controllers on the extreme. It will have, one will control the voltage for the V-Core and one will control the voltage for the VGT. This way, using two independent PWM controllers, we can extend the overall voltage range in our overclocking options. Additionally, you will see Optimos uh, MOSFETs, which feature a low RDS on value, which will be a more efficient MOSFET, as well as microfine alloy chokes, which are imported from the uh, Rampage 5 Extreme series, which is our top tier model.